Welcome, my name is Arnie Aking of Clean Night. I would like to do a short question and answer period with you. What we've done is we have collected eight most commonly asked questions. I'll ask each one of these questions, then I'll try to answer it for you. First question, one, is Clean Light harmful to my health? The short answer is no, Clean Light is not harmful to your health because you do not use pesticides. A small amount of UV, such as is given off by these lamps, is not harmful to your health. Nevertheless, your eyes are overly sensitive to UV, so when you use this, you do this to protect your eyes. So do not unnecessarily expose your eyes to this light, but other than that, it's perfectly safe. Question two, is clean light organic? Answer, yes, you might call clean light an organic treatment because it does not involve any pesticides. And truly, all you're doing with UV is copying what the sun does outdoors. A tiny amount of UV every day stops the development of any diseases. So yeah, you may call clean light an organic treatment, an organic crop protection method. Three, what is the reach per unit? Well, if you grow a small quantity of plants, for example, six plants like many of our customers in California, then the clean light hobby unit, the smallest one we've got, is suitable for you. In a matter of a few minutes, you can treat your six plants. If you are a larger grower, or if you are a professional grower, then the Clean Light Pro is more suited. It is three times as powerful, so you can work three times as fast. Four, the fourth question we often get, what are the little balls in the lamp? I'll walk over to another seat and show you what I mean by the little balls in the lamp. This is the Clean Light Hobby Unit, and what you'll notice is there is a small amalgam, a little tiny ball. I doubt you'll see it in the picture, but with your bare eye you can see it. There is often a tiny little ball visible, and if you do this the ball rolls back and forth. It is amalgam. It is one of the components of the gas that's in the lamps. It is the gas that makes the proper uh, sort of UV light that helps you protect your plants. So the tiny little ball needs to be there. We're going back to the list for the next question. The next question is, when does the bulb need to be replaced? The bulb is good for approximately 8,000 hours. So what that means is in reality, you probably will ever, won't ever have to replace it. What can happen is you break a lamp or you drop it. In that case, you need to replace it sooner. But normally speaking, the lamp should be with you for 8,000 hours. Can clean light kill powdery mildew and botrytis? The answer is yes, that's exactly what we do. This light that you give gives a tiny amount of UV. It does not kill the spores of the fungus, but if you do it every day, you kill the fungus before it matures, you kill the fungus before it makes spores, so you can prevent powdery mildew and botrytis developing on your plant. Powdery mildew often sits on the leaves, therefore you wish to treat the leaves. Botrytis tends to focus on the flowers or on the buds, therefore you treat the entire plant every day to prevent these diseases from developing. What is the difference between the Clean Light Hobby Unit and the Clean Light Pro? The Clean Light Hobby Unit is 12 watts. You need to spend 5 seconds per plant, cover the whole plant for a few seconds. The Clean Light Pro is 3 times as powerful, it is 36 watts. It gives you the opportunity to work faster. What are the shipping costs for a Clean Light Unit? We provide free shipping via UPS. Many of the stores we work with throughout the United States and Canada also offer free shipping. But when you order, please watch to make sure they offer free shipping so as to save you some money. Two more questions have come in while we did our presentation. Question number nine was, 
how do I treat the plants? Let me show you. First thing you do is you put on the safety glasses as I told you a few minutes ago. Second thing you do is you grab your clean light, you turn it on. You can see it is on now. I can check to see if it's on. What I do now is I treat, I scan the entire plant and since this is the hobby unit I need about five seconds for a plant this size. What I do is you go like this, you go like that so that you reach all sides of the plant and we treat like this. If there was any baby fungus present on the plant at that point in time, it has now been killed. Do this every day to prevent the formation, to prevent the growth of powdery mildew and botrytis. That's how simple it is, that's how quick it is. If you treat too long, you could possibly cause some sunburn. If you treat too little, you won't have the right effect. So what I just did for a plant of this size is how you do it. And then the last question was, where can I find more information? Because not all my questions have been answered yet. The answer is, go to www.stoppowderymildew.com. You'll find instructions, you'll find safety instructions. You'll also find this manual. You can download it here. It answers many of the questions that you still might have. It shows you other applications of what is all possible without pesticides. If your questions are not answered in here, please send us an email info at stoppowderymildew.com. So please don't forget, like, share and follow us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. And of course, subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay abreast of all the new developments. Thank you.